So today, I was just feeling like some chocolate cake. So I've done donuts, I've done cinnamon rolls. Why don't we do some chocolate cake? So today, we are all about the chocolate cake. We are gonna try and find the best chocolate cake in Portland. We are on a chocolate cake adventure today. So we're just gonna see how it goes today. I'll see you later. Oh, this new crazy mother. So I'm finally back from my chocolate cake adventure. I was able to hit four different places. As you can see by this amazing setup right here, I got a great array of different chocolate cakes from some of the more well-known dessert places here in Portland. So I went to Papa Hayden's, this restaurant called Prime Rib and Chocolate Cake, Piece of Cake Bakery, and Jakaiva's Chocolatier. So let's get into these cakes, shall we? This is Jakaiva. This is actually a chocolate cake with a peanut butter mousse and then it's coated in chocolate. This was the closest to chocolate cake that they had. They don't sell their chocolate cake by the slices so I thought this would do. Let's try this. The mousse is amazing, obviously. It's not too sweet and not too chocolatey. It's pretty decent. Next, let's try the piece of cake, and this is their triple chocolate. That's a lot richer. It's denser and the frosting just melts in your mouth. Before I forget, the Jukaiva's was $4.25. This was $7.50 for a slice. I'd say that's good for a slice of chocolate cake and it's pretty amazing. So this is from the restaurant Prime Rib and Chocolate Cake and this was $7.99. It looks pretty plain, but who knows? It could be amazing. I mean, you're called Prime Rib and Chocolate Cake for a reason, so you better deliver, guys. Okay. Okay, that's good. It's super good, super rich. I think it's just frosted in chocolate ganache. So the cake itself is not as dense as the piece of cake cake, but it's still really chocolatey. The ganache just literally melts into the cake. It's really good. I'm actually surprised with this one because you never know with restaurant cakes. That would be really sad if you had a restaurant named for a specific item and that item tasted like shit. That would suck. Very good, very good. So last but not least is the one I'm super excited to try. And this is obviously from Papa Hayden's where they actually really do specialize in really nice desserts and cakes and pretty much everything sweet. 9.50. 
So they were the most expensive of the four. Mmm. It tastes like a cream cheese chocolate frosting. It's super good. I think they put a little bit of coffee or espresso in their cake. I can taste a little hint, but it's really good. So this is gonna be a little difficult because they're all kind of like the same. They all taste very similar because they're chocolate cake. I'm guessing this is probably gonna be the last place. It's not as moist and dark or dense as the others. So I would say that's probably last. This one's definitely more moist than that one. This was my favorite one. The cake is just definitely more moist. It's got a really good chocolate flavor. The frosting is great. You can't go wrong with Papa Haydn's ever. Very good, just very moist, very chocolatey. I know I'm saying moist a lot, but you're just gonna have to get used to it, guys. So first, Papa Haydn's. Second, prime rib and chocolate cake. Third, piece of cake, bakery. Fourth, Jakaiba's. Though it probably wasn't a very fair battle for Jakaiba's because I didn't try one of their actual slices of chocolate cake. If there's any places you think I should try out, then let me know in the comments. Can we just appreciate the beautiful detail of this gold leaf right here? I mean, that's like 14 karat gold, ladies, so you could easily make a ring out of it. <laughs>